Toronto's Pearson Airport is implementing flight changes ahead of March break to help avoid some of the travel chaos that the airport's seen over the last year. CB24's Eden DeBebe is at Pearson this morning and has the details for us. Eden. Well, it's a pretty interesting strategy the GTAA announcing last night that they're going to start reducing the amount of flights that are allowed to fly in and out of Pearson and the amount of passengers that are allowed to be on those flights during their busiest travel seasons. Now, that'll include the March break, which is just a couple of weeks away now, and the summer break as well. Not too sure if Victoria Day will fit into that. Uh, not sure how long it'll extend either, but the people we spoke to this morning had some mixed reactions around that, some of them even fearing that that flight prices might increase. Of course, these being peak travel times already and with reduced uh, supply, the demand could end up being higher. Take a listen to what some people told me this morning. Makes no sense. That's not a solution to the problem, right? If anything, uh, I have no idea what to do to fix that, but cutting uh, flights is definitely not. I actually very rarely ever come through Pearson. I try to avoid it at all costs. So I, I think if it was a little more streamlined, I probably would use it. Unfortunately, I found myself here because of the storm last night, so I'm kind of stuck. I think if they're going to be limiting it exactly when families want to go away, that just doesn't really make sense to me. So you can hear a lot of apprehension there. Uh, the GTAA also announced some plans for their bu their baggage woes, saying that they're going to be hiring a third party to kind of look into what exactly is going on with their baggage, the best strategies to handle that as well when it comes to the lost baggage. They're also saying they're going to stockpile some supplies so that when there are some errors or uh, issues with their carousel, they can fix them quickly. Again, as I mentioned, we still don't have any updates on when and how long these plans will be put in place. Place. We don't know the exact limitations for how many flights will be allowed to go and, of course, how many people will be allowed to board those flights. But I'm sure those details will come in the coming weeks. For now, sending it back to you. Eden, thank you.